welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I um, posted another video, but here we are. And this time I want to address an issue which I was thinking about last year when I wanted to buy my love bracelet, which was which is the best value um, love bracelet for me and for my own use. Now, if you've seen a lot of vloggers, if you've seen people walking around, especially in London, or if you're in a big city, um, you'll see that the love bracelet is very well known from Cartier. It's almost like an essential um, piece to have uh, from the jeweler. So um, it's not cheap. It is not if you don't buy the one that is chock full of diamonds, it's not ultra expensive either. Um, if you think about other brands like Van Cleef, um, one of my favourite brands. Um, so, but there always is going to be a question of which one is the best for me? Do I get the classic one that is a full round one and then you just lock it in and you forget about it? Or you get the smaller one, which came out last year and is a bit more trendy. You can see it on people like Dua Lipa. Or you get any other type. Um, uh, for me, uh, there are two things that were into my considerations when I got my love bracelet. Um, practicality and price. So, um, on the one hand, if I get the classic one, I just put it in and I forget about it. But I also heard that there were lots of problems with layering. So if you layer it with other bracelets, when they bump into each other, they might um, end up um, um, making one or the other unlock. And that's something I didn't want. I've had accidents of losing jewellery because I didn't lock them in place. It's been a nightmare. So it's not something I wanted to risk, especially given the price point. Um, on the other hand, uh, I really liked how neat and cute the smaller model is, uh, but I also, you know, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm shelling a lot of money for it. When I want to wear a love bracelet, I would like it to look like, hey, I have a love bracelet on. And um, I may get criticisms for this, but to be honest with you, if you're spending that much money for something that is as iconic as a love bracelet, you kind of want it to be there, like, hello, I'm wearing it. So um, that was also another point to consider. Now, um, I will go on the website right now and uh, have a look around with you for the models that are available. As you can see in this quick run through, the prices ranges from the small one, 3,500, to the um, to the regular one, 5,400, and um, anywhere in between with the cords and the chain um, and the ones that are diamond paved, which are obviously much higher up in price. So really, it's a, it's a big range, but the important thing is what you're really looking after for your own purposes, practicalities and budget-wise. So, for my purposes, I didn't want to spend that much money and I didn't want anything with diamonds and for a very long time, up until recently, I've always been a big fan of yellow gold. I don't know, I just felt it suited my skin the best. So it's why I uh, was looking for yellow gold. The uh, two options were the smaller for me, uh, the, sorry, three options, the smaller, the regular and at the time, I believe it only came out last year, there was the incomplete love bracelet. It wasn't quite the full circle, but it, um, it, it had the same, I believe, the same uh, width of the uh, classic uh, one. But also, um, it was kind of an in the middle price point. And to be frank with you, it's not that much of a, of a piece that it's missing. It's just enough so that you can uh, wear it on your wrist. And from the outside, it really does not look like it's an incomplete bracelet. Plus, it also gives you the look of um, 
of the of the regular one. Probably this one is a bit less round, I believe. But to be honest with you, it's completely perfect. And so this one, I bought it last year, it was £3,600. And now it's around £3,850. Um, and uh, I think so, it's gone up a bit in price. And yeah. So this is more of a, an up close video so you can see what it's like. I'm going to discuss all the pros and cons about it. You can already see some of the cons um, just so you can have a better idea. For my purposes, I wanted a love bracelet that is a proper love bracelet. Um, you know, I wear it, it shows that it's a love bracelet, I feel comfortable in, looks like the classic doesn't cost as much as the classic and this is the best option plus practicality wise if you don't feel like wearing your love bracelet all the time I know the purpose of it is that you get it worn you get the person you love or buy it for you it's yourself, hey girl, it's, it's absolutely fine um, to put it on you and then they close it and it's there for life but you know Sometimes it doesn't work that way. You don't want to go into the sea wearing your love bracelet. At least not me. I mean, you don't want to wear it all the time. If you don't want to wear something that clashes with your love bracelet, you don't just don't want to wear it. So you're getting rid of the hassle of opening and closing. At the same time, it's right there. If you just want to wear it on, you can just put it right here. It's If it fits again. <laughs> so you just put it right here and it's done. And it's, in my opinion, and numbers-wise, you can see it is the best option in terms of an in-the-middle, um, uh, not compromise, I would say a compromise um, for uh, the love bracelet. So you don't get, you go, don't shell 5,400 on the original one and you're not getting the smaller one, which is, you know, barely visible um, and uh, you're you're getting a love bracelet so really I think there are lots of benefits to it and there are at the same time some negatives um, the negative is my first negative for me is the fact that it is still very pricey um, it's not very little money um, but at the same time it's quite sturdy um, it is thick gold when you wear it you really are wearing a, a good quality piece of jewelry it's not something that um, you can look that it's cheap it's just it's a really good quality at the same time uh, value wise I'm sure you'll be able to get something just as thick um, even more um, gold for 3500 if you go to a jeweler and say make a bracelet for me but again you're paying for the brand you're paying for the design you're paying for wearing a love bracelet from Cartier another negative is the fact that it does um uh is it does stain like if i if i put my fingers on it you can see some fingerprinting and that's just unavoidable plus it's very prone to scratching. Okay, I'm not the most careful person when it comes to um, preserving the the uh, the bracelet. I mean, I, I want to wear it all the time. I want to be able to be comfortable to wear it. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, I know a lot of people would buy their jewelry and, you know, wear it once in a while. That's absolutely fine. But for me, I feel like you only live once. And if I want to buy a piece of jewellery, I would really like to wear it. So I've been wearing it a lot. I've been travelling with it, even in the airport and things like that. And I carry my luggage around with me and my bag. So it can hit a place here and there. And so it can get scratched. And from what I heard uh, from Cartier at the time, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that you can go and they can do a polishing of it like once every two years. Um, but that takes away a bit of the gold, so you don't want to do it a lot. So if it gets 
really bad at some point, I might have to do that. But at the moment, it's fine. It's not gonna be very apparent from 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 um, from afar unless you go and really look and see. Oh, there's like a scratch here and there. Um, Another negative is that the little um, nail imprints, uh, they can have dirt in them. I know it sounds disgusting, but they really can collect dirt. I have the, um, the necklace of the Love Collection and it, it has the same problem, it collects dirt. Um, but what you get is... Um, I don't know if you get it with the bracelet, but I, I got it with the with the um, with the necklace as a little brush and the um, washing solution. And what you can do is with the brush you put some solution on top and then you gently brush it and take out the dirt, and it should be fine. But um, it can collect dirt, so be careful with that. You don't want to go around with your love bracelet all black. That's kind of disgusting. So. Make sure you have that point in mind and that's a point probably with all love bracelets that don't have diamonds Chock full of diamonds. They're not chock full of diamonds. Um, it's gonna be an issue um, Another positive is the fact that you get most of the time good customer service with Cartier So if anything happens to your jewelry, you can just go especially if you live in a town where there is a Cartier shop you can just go and say look, I have this problem, or it's too big and it's too small, usually they can do something about it. Um, and um, I think that's a great thing. Plus the fact that you are buying something that is, um, that's an investment piece. This collection has been around since the 70s, if I'm not wrong, and it hasn't gone down in value, quite the opposite, it's going up. And uh, you know, even if it's a if it's um, a trend that's going to be hyped up for a few years, it dies down a little. It's going to come back up because of the brand um, that it's produced by. So really, you're not only buying a piece of jewelry that is trendy at the moment, but you are buying an investment piece. Um, and yeah, that's it for now. I hope um, I've helped you a bit. What do you think? Which piece do you own and which piece are you looking at? And have I been able to change your mind a bit about which piece um, of the Love Collection bracelets would you like to get? Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye!